Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, there's this really bad Kevin Smith movie titled Cop Out. I know really bad Kevin Smith movie might be redundant to some people, but I love Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. I've probably seen that movie 50 times, and I've watched it recently, and it totally holds up. But anyway, in this really bad movie called Cop Out, at one point, uh, God, I always blank on everyone's name, <laughs> the black guy from 30 Rock. He has this bit where he just goes like, nope, 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 hell no, nope, nope, no. And he does, he does his variations on the word nope for like a minute straight. That was basically Tracy Morgan. That was basically <laughs> how I felt reading this. So um, this came out, I think, last Wednesday. And um, uh, several people were saying, go check it out, go check it out. You got to check it out. Um, uh, so I was like, all right. But they were doing it as if it was good. When people say, go check it out, it's either it's really cringy as hell or it's great. Um, I'm like nuts over uh, Tom King's uh, run on Miracle. Mr. Miracle, not <coughs> Miracle Man. But I have not liked his Batman. And I finally figured it out what it is. This is Soy Batman. This is Soy Boy. <laughs> uh, there's this kind of like running meme on the internet uh, with some... Kind of not. They don't have the case closed science wise, but um, uh, they basically like soy will increase estrogen levels and they'll make men more feminine. And this is soy Batman. I was, I was embarrassed for him. The thing about Batman is you should never be embarrassed for him. You should be impressed by him. Um, sometimes you should feel kind of sad for him because he's kind of a tragic prince type of character, but you should never, like, just feel like. Bro, you need to stop, dude. Um, so this is an annual. The weird thing is, okay, so just to explain, um, annuals used to be <coughs> an event. Um, but the point is there were, like, you know, like um, DC and Marvel each had, like, 40 books. And some of the characters just had one book. So once a year, in the summertime, you would get an annual. It would be double or triple size, and it would... Sometimes they would connect, you know, like Atlantis Attacks was the, the theme for a bunch of uh, Marvel annuals in like 1990, I think, 1989 maybe. Um, but they were fun. You could always you could always tell an annual was an annual. Now, I know it says annual up here, but um, it just looks, I know it's thicker, but it, <laughs> it just seems like any fill-in issue of uh, Batman or Detective Comics, and especially when there's so many... Like, you'll have Batman or Detective, but then you'll have other series, and you'll have, like, Nightwing New Order, like, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems like, I just felt like this could have been uh, just uh, a regular two issues of a book. So anyway, um, uh, it's it's a, a love story about Batman and Catwoman. Uh, Batman proposed to Catwoman in uh, Tom King's monthly book this summer, and uh, a lot of people were excited about it. Even my daughter was excited about it. She just thought it was a really cool idea. But the way he proposed was awful. Now, I've seen a lot of bad marriages, and I've been... <laughs> so, military marriages are just like... They're just like a... They're just like a, a lit firecracker. You know what I mean? <laughs> you light the fuse, and there's different length fuses, but they all explode. Most of them. And then the ones that don't explode are a dud, so what do you want? Um, uh... But uh, he literally was, like, being really emo uh, because of something that happened, you know, the storyline with Gotham Boy and Gotham Girl. And then he he literally proposed. He was just like, I'm sad. I'm so sad all the time. And marrying you will make me happy. It's like, oh, baby, what is you doing? <laughs> no, no, that's, no, <laughs> no, that's not a good, oh, that's, ooh, what are you doing? Um, so anyway, we get to see that... Um, one of the things I don't like about comics is when they establish, hey, did you know this thing's always been going along? Especially when the logistics of it are ridiculous. So anyway, early in Batman's career, Catwoman used to sneak into his Batcave or his house to steal something and leave a mouse. Um, it's really on the nose. It's really obvious. It's also kind of very infantile that she's flirting with him, but this is the way that when you're in grade school and you like another, you know, you got your little crush, but you don't want to, you're, you're not ready to talk about it. It's literally like this. It's like 
this is first or second grade crushing on each other instead of just being an adult and saying like knock knock who's there you want to do it that's that's how it goes down for y'all right um uh but uh so the, it just had me off the, now i know i know a lot of people are going to be oh my gosh this is so beautiful but it's again it's kind of like dan slot when he's doing this dream girlfriend type of storyline it's like <laughs> i know tom king's married and he has kids but this seems like something like a, a like a 15 year old who's never been on a date never had a girlfriend would imagine like adult relationships or so she sneaks into his house and she steals his car ha 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 oh you men um so then he's always kind of like behind the power curve again i hate when batman's behind the power curve he's like he's like this dope he's getting stuff stolen it happens like every year for like five years in a row and then plot twist spoiler he knew all along he could have caught her, but but um, the thing that just killed me is, <laughs> first of all, like I said, Batman's kind of a dope. And um, it's just like, um, he has all these safes, and one of them, his safes, he has a single pearl from his mother's necklace. Um, so, and then he's like, it was my mother's. She died, I know. Everyone knows. Yes, everyone knows. But I know you shouldn't be here. My parents, my mother, she left. And growing up here in Gotham, I was astray. I was alone. Like, <laughs> shut up. Stop it. We have seen, right now in Gotham, they're in season four, and they've been kind of building things with Selina and Bruce. And it's been done very well. Like, they have depth to their characters, and they both make sense. Um, there was this whole awful exchange earlier where they're asking, like, why do you dress like a bat? Why do you dress like a cat? Mm -hmm. Um, but this neener, neener, uh, back and forth battle of the sexes thing is lame. We've seen, uh, live action, or, you know, um, <coughs> Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer, and it was done so well, and there's so much more depth to it. It was not just neener, neener, back and forth. Ooh, I scored one on you. You scored one on me. Um. And then, like I said, the Gotham was good. The um, uh, Batman the Anime series, it was okay. But they were all better than this. Which just It just feels like just wa watching two people play Batman. I mean, God, let me read this. Why do you dress up like a bat? Why do you dress up like a, as a cat? I like cats. Everyone likes cats. They're soft. Who likes bats? No, shut up. Just shut it. This is stupid. Um... Jeez, even the freaking Batman and Catwoman from um, the Chris Nolan movie, that third one, which I didn't even like, it was better than this. This is just... So then, oh, it's... <laughs> she finds out, um, you know, you should really appreciate all this. Um, why? Isn't it obvious? Because you're weak. You need to be better. I have to make you better. I have to teach you where you're weak. Or you're going to die. What, what? What? Nobody talks like this. Nobody thinks like this. This. This isn't. This is like backwards. You know, it feels like he came up with like. Um, I don't know, like this <laughs> panel, and then he had to like backwards. I don't. I don't feel like this is like Phil Donahue Batman. This is psycho. You know, group therapy Batman. This is boring. Of course, she has to be clowning him, doing a freaking somersault with his face as the pommel horse. Okay. I see it every time I see you. And I see you more than you know I see you. You're so good, you train so well. And then she's like... Then she's like, but you're still the mouse. And I'm kidding. Shut up. Batman takes down world-class threats all the time. You literally squat in alleys waiting to steal freaking stuff out of unguarded houses. Like... Why are you lecturing him? Haven't you been like homeless or like a prostitute like half of your life? So, uh, why do you care if I live or die? Do you care if I live or die? It's different. We're different. No, Bat, that's just it. It's all of it under there. What? What is this? I hate this stuff. 
So then he tracks her down. And then she's like, he's like, I knew from the beginning. Bump, bump, bump. Wow. So then they finally, like, oh, get to it after, like, five years of, like, the lamest flirting ever. And then, because, <laughs> then there's this, like, thing when they're, like, in their 60s or 70s. It's, like, eight pages. And it literally did feel like this is the end. And then Tom King was like, oh, wait, I got eight more pages. Uh, uh, oh. Let's just have him for 70 one of them gets cancer. Oh, a plot, oh, plot twist. Like, it wasn't treacly enough. And then he's telling these, like, stories, and they're horrible stories. And then, like, of course her kids, of course her kids are woven as she is a bat. She up too. She can't just be, like, a freaking doctor or something normal. Um, also, this is not, look at this. It, they're doing, they're, he's like, oh, well, getting old. Uh, Oh, I'm getting kind of fat. You're dying of cancer. Why are you talking about getting fat? What? No people lose weight when they're on freaking chemo? Um, look at this. This is not Catwoman. This is... Not to be insulting, this is Tom King's mom. This is just a regular mom. This is probably his dad. You know, like... Oh my gosh. Oh, did you know when people get old, they get... They get weaker and they die. Oh, God, whatever. All right. So, whatever. Batman Annual. This is Date Night's last... Oh, jeez. I know it's sad. That makes it even worse. So, if you want a uh, very treacly story about the Batman and, and Catwoman flirting like second graders and then dying of old age cancer, enjoy. I don't know. I like Batman Returns, the movie. They actually had like a romance and it was sexy and it was like exciting. It was fun. It was interesting. And then the, the kind of the other side of it is on Gotham where they're like, uh, they kind of come in in each other's orbits and um, uh, they're both fully developed people. I really like those portrayals. This is just stupid. This felt like a, like a, a cheese ball uh, writing assignment at a community college. And I hated it. So uh, I'm definitely leaving like, losing like 500 subs. <laughs> DC fans are very loyal. Like, if you say something that they, they don't like, ooh, I'm paying the price for this one. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give it to the Super Chat and the Patre Patreon. You're funding original content. I just caught up with all my color flats on uh, up to page 19 on issue 2 of, uh, of uh, Iron Sight. So... That's very exciting. It look, I, originally, this was going to be four issues. Now it looks like it's going to be like five, maybe six. So that's cool. Patreon funds that. just takes a little long, longer, obviously. But uh, I, it's, I'm having a blast on that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.